start the project. Okay, so I have already uh, made the made this uh, project file. Uh, okay, let me show you. Yeah, airfoil data, na? Yeah, from airfoil tools only you need this. And uh, yeah, these are the coordinates. Uh, I have just made uh, this file with coordinates. I will show you the file. Uh, yes, yes, I can see in your screen. Hmm. So, yes. okay, so these units are in MM, okay? Just make sure, so how did I make this? How did I convert this unit in MM? You see this option sent to airfoil plotter. Uh -huh. Yeah, just click on it. And here, yes, you just enter pod as thousand and uh, plot. Okay, then and it will convert yeah. them into meters, right? Yes, yes, so if you will just download this CSV file of coordinates. Huh? Yes. So it will be, this unit will appear in millimeter. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, we will be using in millimeters only, no problem. So I already made this file. Uh, this was the same file, and you know, uh, you already know what is this. This group number is the order of point, and these are x y z coordinates. Yes. Okay. So let me edit the geometry. And yeah, it's just uh, do this with me, okay? Just. Whatever I am doing, just keep doing it. We will first step will be same like we will just make uh, import. This but we don't file. have that. We have to download it now, right? I will download it. Okay, okay, yeah, no problem. I will share it on WhatsApp. Just wait a minute. Ah, share in yes, yes. You can share it. So download it and okay. So watch yes, my screen yes. now. <laughs> okay, you can see right. So first step would be exactly the same. Uh, first, we just convert these units to millimeter, and we will just make a point from coordinate files. And the text or oh no? Is also two D analysis, right? Yes, yes, it's two D analysis only. Okay, so I will just generate it. Uh, yeah, you can see this. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. So now we just have to make a 3D curve on top of it by a point selection. Okay, this is also a problem here. Actually, these coordinate file na, is not very uh, correct because you can see yes. that. Uh, yeah, at the trailing edge, there is a problem. Uh, right? trailing, edge, uh, trailing edge would remain open if I uh -huh. just make a 3D curve out of it. So I will just, uh, you must have seen it in YouTube videos as well. I, they just connect it with a line to close yes. the edge. Okay, so we will do the same only. Uh, let's just uh, make 3D curve. You keep doing that as well, okay? You are doing it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And again, uh, like before, we will take up. Uh, uh, Okay, so I already made the curve. Uh, have you done the same? Doing, bro. Okay, okay, do it. I will just create a circle. Bro, I don't have grid. How can I know the center point? Uh, what do you mean? Like, where to end? Uh, no, uh, this would be your end only. No, not, not that one, not that one. In, okay. in leading edge, the curve one, uh, where it is ended. Oh, just click Finish on XYZ and this will be visible. So, yeah, this uh, here it will end. Okay. Just click on XYZ and that. Yes, yes, it. yes. Uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah,
Okay, so did you make the curve right now? Yeah, yeah, I made it. I made yeah, the line both, also. Okay, both of the curves are in line? Yeah. Yeah, so just make a surface out of those three lines, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now come to oh, my screen. I got a problem. I, yeah. Okay, screen visible? Yeah, visible. Okay, so this time around, we will. what we'll do is we'll make a C-type uh, mesh domain. Okay, and okay, uh, one thing okay. more, make sure that the units are in millimeter only. You Did you make that? Make sure of that? I didn't check. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. yes. Okay, okay. Because fraud length should be 1000 mm only. Uh. Okay. So, yeah, we will make a C-type uh, domain. Which, firstly, uh, you are watching my screen now. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching. Yeah, yeah, just see how am I making this. Firstly, I will do the symmetry constant. These two. And these two points as well. Okay. So, okay, so this length should be 10 times of the chord length. Okay, um, if you check the NASA website now, they actually uh, take it very high, they like take it 100 times. Uh, yes, here you can see this diagram. Yes, yes. And now you can see the scale like it's in 500 times. Yeah, this is the meter only. So, 500 times the chord length. So okay, but high. now. Yes, yes. And, uh, and you can see the domain also. They also like to make this C type domain. Uh -huh. So that's why we will do this. And so, but for our analysis, we will take it as uh, 10 times a chord length only because that is more than enough. Uh, yeah. 10,000. Yeah. And this will be uh, 20,000 okay. because, uh, okay. So this will be 20,000 because 10 times above and 10 times below. Okay. Okay. So this would be our complete domain. And now you for to make this C type, you will choose this R by three points option. Okay. First point would be this. Second point would be the aerofoil that one. Below one, yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. And thirdly, you can just make this. So we will just leave it at when it is perpendicular to both of these lines. You can see. Okay. C D mm. option. So just leave it, and it will be made like it will be made like this. Yes. Okay. So yeah, this is the it that looks like. On. Yeah. So make this domain on your uh, as well. Yes, yes. I will just make a surface. No, just make a surface. So okay. So just make a surface out of these this as well, surface from sketches. And you will choose add frozen. Okay. So you're watching my screen right now, okay? Yes. Yeah. So just make this surface with add frozen option and what uh, okay now we'll create a boolean first subtract yeah yeah from that we have to subtract the airfoil yeah, yeah. So this is what we're left with so you do this as well then we'll move to next step yes yes 